Hi guys, welcome back to the channel of Mark Urbex. We're on an explore today. We're going along an old tin miners tramway alongside a canal. We've got the canal and the tramway. There's lots of tin mines up around this way, so we're going to go and check a couple of places out. So um, stay tuned and have a look at some interesting stuff. So we've got an old railway line at the top of this place. Uh, so this is the tramway. The horses used to pull the barges along the canal there. So the horses used to, or the ponies used to pull, walk along this bit. But up the top in the trees up there, there is a railway line. Um, a Plymouth to Tavistock line. Going to, sell, going to spanning across several I think three, one, two, three, three or four viaducts and two tunnels, one called Bickley Tunnel and the second one is the Yelverton Tunnel that runs under the little town of Yelverton, not many people know about that one, and eventually goes all the way down through to a place called Tavistock, links up with other railway lines that go to Bear Austin and Launceston. Oakhampton and then again linking up to Exeter so yes we'll uh, have a little look around in a second so we've uh, got some of these little um, stone things here so obviously the ponies used to pull the barges along in the canal but after a while I think they put um, rail tracks along here for the old tin mine carts to come down so as you can see the slabs where the line used to be on along the ground there with the little holes you can see roughly where the track used to be bolted into it just there and again and again this is a slightly clearer one and there so quite interesting there's lots of trees down in the canal yeah, a couple of squirrels around there's a squirrel over there but uh, we'll just carry on trekking along here for a second so we'll catch you in a minute so we're coming up on one of the viaducts at the moment this is the first one of the first viaducts with a railway line went across and uh, obviously it's not used anymore it's a popular cycle route now but then um, the viaducts this one the original first viaduct here uh, it's started to slip so they could never put a railway track across it again and have trains it would cost millions to replace this so it's just remained as a cycle route now but it's a cracking viaduct there was a, a wooden one here first which is on the first wall that we're coming up to in a minute you had this built and the wooden structure on the top and then the wooden viaduct would run across the top of this one the first one here that we're looking at this wall so a wooden structure would have gone up but then they built this one next to it on the side of it it's a cracking day today guys we've got some structures down here we'll check out in a minute The old tin mines there uh, used to be. So there's the viaduct in all its glory. Like I said, there's about four of these spanning about 10 mile. We've got some old structures here. That's the other side of the viaduct. We'll go on top in a minute and have a look down. 
but this is part of the old in, um, tin mining area back in the 18th century around the industrial revolution period got Callum walking with me today so this is a wheel this is one of the wheel pits in there and there's the other one you can just work out a wheel there Got a great big quarry face there. It's got some um, birds nesting on that. But again, here's all these stone structures. And wide up in the background. It's a popular uh, walking place. Lots of squirrels around. Ah, oh, look at that. Tin mine cottages and workplaces. Your flagstone floor. There's a little cave area down there where the water goes. Goes in through. Comes out the other side under the bank. But we'll check that out in a minute. So we'll take a walk back around and have another look around. So there's a, there's another wheelhouse there guys with a little doorway at the bottom. Actually coming down to the river. The river. It's quite deep that water. Beautiful, I could just jump in that and go for a swim. <laughs> Beautifully clear. There's a corner of the wheelhouse. That's a pretty big wheelhouse that one. Just let me have a little look at it. And uh, we're going to trek up towards like a little weir in a minute. So we're going to go along this sketchy path. So like I say, we'll see you in a second. Guys, just a little closer up. It's beautiful, clear water.
So what we'll do guys is we're going to go up on top of one of the viaducts, have a look down and then we'll come across the other side and see what else there is to look at. So, like I say, this is a, a mining area for tin and slate, 18th century. And I think the last train that ran up here from Plymouth to Yelverton was I think in 1963 or 67. So we're coming back down to the big pool at the bottom of the quarry face. I'm gonna have a quick look at the pool. It's very deep, very deep pool this. So there's that. And we'll uh, go to the top of the viaduct. So we're getting a bit closer to it now. There's a little opening in here guys, we'll have a quick look at. It's barred up, it used to be open years ago, but it's barred up now. Amazing brickwork. sure what was kept in here anyway there's uh, lots of logs it doesn't span the entire viaduct obviously it's just a little room but again you can see the crack you can see the crack there look but apparently it's uh, been sinking this one Anyway, we'll keep going up to the top. Yeah, if you uh, haven't already, guys, you know, hit the like button. Please subscribe. I bring you a lot more content. Planning on getting out a lot more now we can drive places. But just a little bit of local history for you, really. So we're on top of the viaduct and we're coming along to some old miners cottages So this is the so-called cycle route Quite a glorious area really, so this is the old cottages here we're just going to have a little quick look at I'm getting out of breath walking up that hill Need to get fitter. So this is pretty cool structure. Got the old fireplaces. Shame they couldn't restore it and put a roof on it. It would look cool with all the wood. But uh, old fireplaces. Old window there used to be. And there. Obviously, it had two floors. You can see. Another little fireplace there, up the top. It's a really sunny day today. Your wooden beams there, look. I don't think they're original anyway. go that's one building quite cool Callum's mooching around somewhere there so just go and check out the viaduct and this is the top of the viaduct now I'm just have a little look around Looking 
time. There's one of the original pillars there. And then farther over, I end up with just up there. This is quite high up. Amazing shadow of the void up there, look. it's crazy. Another view of the void up there, guys. Coming down, looking across. So, we're going to just head down here and have a look at the old wheelhouse. So, we're on the other side of the river from where we were just now, looking from over there up, half down there, looking up. And this is the big wheelhouse that we we're trekking out. that weir again over there. So that's where we were just now, just across the other side of that path. if we can get to the door but I'll check it out and have a look and here we have it so this is the doorway into the wheelhouse and we're at the bottom of it Okay, so there is another structure up the top that we're going to look at, so uh, we'll go and have a look at that one too. So we're going up another mining track, where the carts used to come down. They used to come down here, go straight down, follow that path there. So we'll go up and have a look at this structure.
running off around here. So I think this is another winched place to winch the carts up maybe. I'm not too sure. It's always well built these places. So we'll go around the other side of that. Lots of birds singing. Here we are. So I'm not too sure what mechanism was attached in here, whether it was a wheel to post stuff up that track or not. I'm not too sure. Lots of birds around. So, yeah, I knew that was there, yeah. and I think it's part of something that gets pulled down from up there because there's a track, like yeah. a trench going up there. I don't know if it was like a ropes in a chain at the top, hoisting something up, like the carts or something. Mm. I'm not over sure, overly sure. But it's definitely workings of some sort. See, and that's you can't actually get in that bit down there. That bit you cannot get in. And there's another slip down there. Slip there, so I'm not sure what it's all for. That's the one I was in just now. And then there's these here. Oh, I can smell wood burning like a log fire. It really sets the moment off. So, yeah. Interesting to find out if there was anything up there, but I don't think there is. Okay. Quite interesting stuff. So guys, yeah, that's um, all there is to see today, really. Just a small video around the local area, talking about the local history of the old mines and the old railway line. It's a beautiful valley this, the track like I say starts at a place called Marsh Mills and it goes up through the valley across four viaducts through a tunnel uh, all the way to a place called the Elverton and then you can pick it up again and go down to a place called Horror Bridge, down to White Church and into Tavistock and you can ride off road on track from Tavistock virtually all the way to Oakhampton where the station is actually still operational 
so thanks for watching I will be dropping some more shortly I'm going to take a trip up to Seaton I'm going to take a trip up to Bodmin Moor and a trip up to Poole again to do another video so I've got some more coming and I'll see you on the next one so catch you later guys hope you've enjoyed so here we are on the last part of the track at the bottom now of the canal this is the, uh, the end of it down here and we walked all the way up through there so you've got this amazing uh, tunnel yeah we went all the way up there followed it all the way up and obviously this is now the end It comes down and goes into a car park. It does carry on down to Marsh Mills, but this is the Plimbridge area, so it does actually go further down. But um, we're parked here, so like I say, um, hit thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.